Hey guys, Brennan here. Welcome back to Don Gun Rompa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time we discovered a body, but we also found out um about some stuff about Biakia because we hung out with Biakia, but uh, we also hung out with Hero, um, and we did some other things. I literally recorded that yesterday. But I can't remember because I'm I'm brain dead. Um, I I I know we discovered the body, but we also found out more about uh, Kyoko's situation, what's going on with her, um, and we need to discover who the identity of this body is. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna look at the body here in a second. Um, but before that, I'm going to say, uh, yes, this is a second Danganronpa video, uh, a day after the other one. Yesterday's video I decided to do as sort of an extra, uh, video, because my plan is beating Danganronpa this month. I want to get it done with. So I decided, because I had missed an upload last week, um, I would upload on Tuesday of this week, which was yesterday, um, and now uh, we are playing more Danganronpa because I want to beat it this month, and I feel that if we do that sooner rather than later, that would be good, because my plan is beating Danganronpa um, at some point this month, uh, and then I'm probably going to end up playing Persona 5 Strikers on my channel when it comes out. So, yeah. Anyway, let's continue. I should take a close look at the body one more time. So, um... Watch yourself, Makoto. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. Don't worry, I don't plan on touching the body all that much. I'm not Kyoko after all. There's something next to the body. It's... It's a key? Is it what Kyoko took from Monokuma? No. But what did you steal? So... I stole this. A key? Looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like a Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. That's right, the key she stole was shaped like a Monokuma. This isn't anything like that. Then, this key is... Not what? the same key. What is it? Did you find something? Uh, yeah, this was on the ground near the body. I've never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? So, even you don't know then? Huh. Makoto, I'm going to give you a very important task. Huh? I see. That key might give you access to certain areas we thought we were locked. To certain areas we thought were locked. You mean... So in other words, the bio lab, the data center, the headmaster's room, and the dorms on the second floor. It's in your hands. So I'm your errand boy now? Alright, here we go. Uh, we're just gonna head straight to the data center because I know that's where the key goes to. I think. The door to the Dana Center was definitely locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. When I went to insert the key I'd found in the garden into the keyhole... Click. It fits. Then, this is the key to the Data Center. I'd managed to unlock the Data Center! I guess all that running around paid off. I have to go tell everyone else. I immediately headed back to the garden. So, you're back. How'd it go? 
I found out which room the key goes to. It's the data center, down on the fourth floor. Then we can get to the data center now? I see. Interesting. But why did the now deceased have that key on them? Hmm. I suppose we'll just have to go to the data center and find out. Yeah, I think you're right. Hmm. Here we are. Looks like the door is still unlocked. Um... Hey, so... When you open that door, there's not gonna be another huge kaboom like before, right? Uh, um... You're asking that question now? Hmm. Don't worry, we have Makoto. What? In other words... It's in your hands. Again? Hmm. It means I trust you. To take a bullet for me. Nothing else. I don't trust you for literally anything else, but I do trust you to take a bullet for me. That's an absolute lie. I'm just being used. And everyone's just... conveniently far away. Except for Biaki. He's pretty close, but... Everyone else is a good two or three feet away. <laughs> I reached out and put my hand on the door. I closed my eyes and tried to clear my mind. With a silent prayer, I slowly opened the door. Nothing happened. After making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. I don't know why closing your eyes would protect you from a bomb, but whatever. <laughs> I, I know that I would totally... Uh, blindly open the door because it's better than seeing you get blown to bits. Oh cool, I accidentally skipped that line. Good job. Man. In a word was... In a word, the room was... Strange. I mean, all the rooms up till now were strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. I mean, yeah, it has a bunch of security cameras and a bunch of other things. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school. Here, the fear was lurking beneath the surface. The room was filled with that kind of dread. What? What? Hey, that's... Hero extended a trembling hand and pointed. Look at all those monitors on the wall. Look what they're showing. Different parts of the school. Each monitor displayed a different section of the school. The dorms, the classrooms, every part of the school was covered, except for the dressing room, that one secret room we found, and some other place. This is... What? It's the direct feed from every single surveillance camera. All the cameras in the school feed back into this room. And they're displayed here on the monitors. So that's it. So, the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. <gasps> to watch us? Then huh? this room is it's all clear now. the Mastermind's private room, without a doubt. Mastermind's room. I guess that makes sense. So the Mastermind was here? Watching us. <laughs> then I think this settles it. Huh? Huh? Hm. The body in the garden? If they had the key to this room, it can only mean one thing. <laughs> that was the body of Mukuro Ikisaba, and she was the Mastermind. <gasps> then... The Mastermind is dead? Like, really, really dead? <laughs> it would seem so. What? What? You're serious? <laughs> it's too bad they had to go and die before Master could kill him himself. The Mastermind is dead? Could that really be true? Does this mean it's all over? Because... I mean, that body... Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die a natural death. So, who was it that... But... 
But if the mastermind really is dead, that means we can finally get out of this hellhole. How about that? We gotta hurry and find the exit. Come on. That's enough. No, we have to check this area thoroughly first. Huh? But what about the exit? If the mastermind truly is dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. But right now, we need to find out why the mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. And I'm bothered by the fact that the mastermind was obviously murdered. Murdered? So you think so too, huh? Naturally. Naturally. Hmm. The state of that corpse makes it plain as day. There is absolutely no doubt. The mastermind was murdered. But... Why's it gotta be that way? I mean, who could have even done it? Such ignorance. That's exactly why I said we need to investigate the purpose and identity of the mastermind. I'm telling you! Now do you understand, you useless insect? You're banned from talking to Master ever again! The Mastermind's purpose, and why they were killed, this room may very well hold the answers to those questions. After all, the Mastermind must have spent who knows how much time in here. Hm. Okay then, let us begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity of the Mastermind. Look at this. There's nothing showing up on this one. Hmm. Huh? Hey, look next. Huh? Hey, look next to that TV. Isn't that a TV antenna? How about that? It is. It's just like the one my grandma uses. It's totally one of those high def antennas. Wait. So if we hook up that antenna, we could watch TV. Huh? huh? Did someone say? TV? You know? Well, well, Saturday morning Hina's here. Hmm. Uh, are you talking about me? Okay. Anyway, if we can watch TV, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. You know? Ha, <laughs> you're all starved for info from the outside world, huh? Hmm. All right, let me work my magic and you'll be quantum leaping your way to TV land before you know it. I mean, I get I get the reference, but what's he talking about? All right, hook it up. Let's go. Okay. Hey, you still don't have the TV fixed? You know? Just give me some time, okay? Hmm. I gotta make sure we can drive Spaceship Earth safely. I think I know what you're trying to say, but I also have no idea. <laughs> There's a really ridiculous number of monitors here. And the Mastermind's been using them all to spy on us. <laughs> as long as I... have this... Huh? Look at... Master go! It's like a feast for the... eyes! is a m m m monthly membership Jesus Christ So, you think you can fix the TV? You know? Just a little longer. What? You really want to watch TV that bad? <laughs> Another Saturday morning kid here. <sighs> Masters g going around all this stuff. It's like an all-you-can-watch buffet. Okay, thanks. Jeez, I can't believe how many monitors there are. My eyes are flickering as fast as they are. Why was the Mastermind murdered? To figure that out, we need to find out the identity and purpose of the Mastermind. Alright, let's check the Monokuma door. This door's kinda creepy. It's got a picture of Monokuma on it. What could be inside? Got a rattle. No luck. Um. The door's locked, huh? What if he used the key that opened this room? 
Uh, let's give it a try, just in case. Rattle, rattle. Nope. No good. It won't even fit in the keyhole. Hmm. Oh. Yeah! Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen to us. Yeah, I guess you're right. I can't stop thinking about that door with Monokuma's picture on it. But worrying about it isn't gonna do me any good. Luna's right. Mastermind's gone, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Um, well, shit. Anything else to look at? This yes. There's a bunch of monitors mounted, mounted on the wall. The master has to use them all on us. Surveillance camera. No matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are following our every move. I mean, they're absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does this place have anyway? Okay, I think I looked at everything. everything. Uh, maybe let's look at the TV again. Okay. You know? Hmm. <laughs> okay. I thought I talked to everyone already. Is, it, is this something different? Oh, I guess it is something different. Okay. There's a bunch of computers all lined up. They look like high-performance PCs. Nothing like the ancient laptop Alter Ego was installed on. Hmm. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. Hmm. So what? We can't do anything? Just use your fighting spirit to force your way in. Huh? What century are you from? Mastermind must have been using these to monitor the network. And Alter Ego... Hmm. You may well be right about that. What? But there's no point in thinking about it now. You're right. You know? Mm. Mm -hmm. huh? Oh! 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 What's wrong? Mm. Good news for you all. Good news for all you Saturday morning kitties out there. I think I got the TV working. Uh, really? Hmm. Now all we gotta do is switch it on. What? Then do it. Uh, Freaking idiot mastermind. All you guys need to, to cut... All you guys need to cut free from your regrets of the outside world. What the heck? And they were sitting here watching TV the whole time? They really thought they could get away with it? This is... Hmm. It's the feed coming from the surveillance camera monitoring this room, isn't it? What the heck? Huh? That's weird. Come on. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? That's really weird. Hmm. <laughs> You're weird. Weird in every way possible. And not j just... Weird. Super weird. But... But this TV isn't hooked up to anything beside the antenna. But the antenna. Wow, I can't read. I... Wow. So, how is it showing the camera feed? Well... Did you try changing the channel? Uh, um... Oh, good idea. Uh, let's give that a try. Hero went through each channel one by one. But on every channel, it was just... us. It was a live feed of us standing there in the data center. What the heck? What the Look, he said it. Mm. He said it for me. Is it... is it broken or something? Could it be... No! There must be some kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. Uh, trick? What kind of trick? Actually... I'm not sure, but... Huh? Hmm? Ah? Huh? What? Huh? What? Huh? 
What? Yeah, ha ha ha! Been a while, you freaking bastards! Monokuma? How? You're supposed to be dead? Me? Dead? Don't be freaking stupid! Hey, you're acting kind of strange. Something seems different. Of course. Of course I'm different. Evolution is perfectly natural. After all, I've been hibernating for two years already. Uh, not even. It's been like half a day at most. How are you alive again? <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> The look on your faces right now is sublime. That's what I wanted to see the moment you went from hope to despair. Don't tell me you pretended to be dead all for this moment. <laughs> Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who should pretend to be dead when you see a bear. I mean, that's totally laughable! It makes me laugh! I'm gonna laugh now! <laughs> well, now. And that's that. Shing. Well, it's almost time to cut off your past so full of hope and begin to despair at the future ahead of you. I want you to all... I, I did say that, right? Okay. I want you to all have way more fun in this killing game. Huh? You can't be serious. We have to keep going? Oh, no, we were supposed to get out of here. Get out of here? Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? How do you not get it? There is no getting out of here. And besides... Yep. This life isn't all bad, you know? I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life no matter where you are. Are you serious? This place is the worst. If it's the worst, does that mean you're in despair? Well now. Phew, I'm pooped from all that laughing. I guess I'll just get to the point now. The point? Hey, um... You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed. That TV is an essential part of your school life here. What? I knew it was hiding a secret of some kind. What the heck? I connected it to the antenna. So why is it just showing us the surveillance feed? <laughs> Look how attentive they are now. Well then, I'm gonna let you in on a blood gushing secret and tell you about it. Ta that TV is absolutely, without a doubt, displaying the signal coming in on the antenna. Huh? Huh? But what does that mean? What the it's heck? displaying the the signal, but it's just. Us standing here. Unbelievable. Ugh, you're so stupid. Don't you get it? Fine. I'll just tell you. Thrills, chills, kills. This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. What? This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. It doesn't matter how many times he says it, I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I mean, even if I understood the words, I'm not sure I'd understand the deeper meaning, except for the fact that it's completely obvious what he means. This is a television show that we are on. He is broadcasting this to everywhere. What? Broadcast live to the entire world? What kind of bad joke is this? That's... It can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? The camera feed is being broadcast? No way, that's impossible. That kind of overconfidence is amazing. 
major weakness in your crisis management system, you know that? All you need is one weird trick that I found, and hijacking the airwaves is easy mode. Are you being serious right now? Of course! I heard a kind of creaking, but the sound was coming from my own mind. Like a boat tossing in the ocean, my mind had begun to creak and groan. Hey, um... Everything has a meaning, you know? All those hints I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about the school's mysteries. Even me luring you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for my captive audience to show them true despair like they'd never seen it before. <laughs> I became the director of a despair-based production! This is the ultimate reality show! The best in despair entertainment! What are you saying? You're lying! If this was on TV, the police and everyone else would be going crazy! Uh, um... Yeah, there's no way they wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us. What if they already did? Huh? Yes, indeed. But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you, but who would actually come here to help? Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know personally, though, so whatever. This can't be. What? To take control of all communications like that, you'd need an astronomical amount of resources. <laughs> yep. So, how could things have come this far? Well, yeah! that's a secret. There's something you all need to first... to do first, remember? What? Of course! Yeah, duh. There's the little business of... That dead body, yeah. Fuck. A body has been discovered! A body has been discovered! Yep, fun times, After let's go. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! Huh? <laughs> class trial? Do you mean... Next Monokuma file right here. Everyone give it all you've got, okay? Heart pounding excitement! Okay, things are gonna get pretty crazy from here on out. You're in for a heck of a ride. I can't wait! I can't wait! Alright, let's go. And then he was gone. Reality was incomprehensible. The truth hopelessly out of reach. All we were left with was despair. We stood there for, I don't know how long, frozen in place. I couldn't think. It took everything I had just to keep myself standing upright. I, I don't understand any of this. What's despair entertainment? And... How is he still alive? I'm sick of this. I thought that, finally... Finally, we could get out of here. And plus, what did he say about a class trial? Stop talking. Well, that's part's obvious. The class trial is the class trial. Which means... At... What it means at, is that at this point, we have to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko. What? What the heck? What are you- what are you talking about? I thought Mukuro Ikisaba was the one who died. 
the victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills that condition. And if Monokuma is alive and active, that means the mastermind, Mukuro Ikisaba, isn't dead. So naturally, that body can't belong to her, so it must be Kyoko. There is no other possibility. Well, there's still the possibility that Mukuro isn't the mastermind, but whatever. Uh, the body is Kyoko's? Kyoko's been murdered? No, it's not possible. Because, because I don't know anything about her yet. I don't even know who she really is. To have it end like this. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. Quiet. Whether you believe it or not doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe, it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. Myself? <laughs> anyway, we'd better begin. But... But... If we're gonna have a class trial... Then that means... The killer? That's right. Correct. It must be someone participating in our school life. <gasps> Wait! So you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? <laughs> well, that's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh? Huh? But you just said... Stop talking. I don't have time to explain now. There is a veritable mountain of issues I need to confirm. <laughs> so I'm going to begin my search. If you value your lives, you'll put everything you have into this. That is how the game works, after all. Investigate. Well, I'd better start by checking out the Monokuma files. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. So even the Monokuma file doesn't tell us who the victim actually was. The unidentified body. Could it really be Kyoko? Or... I have no choice. I have to investigate. I have to uncover the truth for myself. No matter what, I have to find out what happened, or we're all dead. I need to go back to the scene of the crime. Back to the garden. Monokuma file number 5 has been added to the truth bullet section to handle. Okay, time to get started. I need to check anywhere that may be important, from one end to the other. I just need to do what I always do. I remember there were some chickens in the chicken pool. Count four chickens. Huh? Four? Yo! What's going on, Makoto? Oh, I'm glad you're here. Listen, do you remember how many chickens there were in here? Hmm. Of course, there were precisely five. Yeah, right? Huh? Oh, well, what's wrong? There's only four chickens here now. We're one short. Huh? Oh? Huh? Ah! That's so weird. I wonder when it disappeared. But... I was down here just before nighttime last night, and there were definitely five chickens then. What? What are we gonna do? Going from five to four is gonna have an impact on the structure of the world! Conspiracy! It's like a jigsaw puzzle. If even a single piece disappears, the entire world rema will remain unfinished. I did my best to ignore Hero and focus on the problem at hand. Why did one of the chickens disappear? Could it be related to the case? Chicken Coop Chickens has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. This is the panel that controls the sprinklers. They're set to turn on at 7.30 every morning, and Monokuma said the time positively couldn't be changed. Huh? Hold on. So the sprinklers, the sprinklers turn on at 7.30 each morning, right? Then, if the body was here before then, the sprinklers should have gotten it wet which would mean the murder must have taken place after 7.30. The 
No matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are following our every move. It means they're absolutely everywhere. How many cameras does this place have anywhere? Anyway? Just to be sure, I should take a look at the tool shed. This room is dusty and disorganized. In other words, a pretty stereotypical tool shed. Is this a tarp? Wait, is there a tarp in here before? I should probably look into that. It could be related to the case. Tarp. The top is wet and covered with mud and grime, but the underside is totally clean and completely dry. One side of that tarp is wet and dirty. Something about that bothers me. Tarp has been added. That's the one thing in here that concerns me. Right, let's get out of here then. Look at the knife. There's a knife laying on the ground. Is this the one that was stabbed in the It must be the knife that was stuck in the body before it exploded. The force of the explosion must have thrown it over here. The Monokuma file said the knife went all the way through the body, from front to back. Does that mean this knife is what caused the fatal injury? Either way, this knife looks really familiar. Wait, is this? Yeah, it's the knife that we've seen, the one that was in our drawer. That's it! It's the knife that person was holding. This is getting really weird. There are just too many strange coincidences. Whoever the person in the mask was that attacked me last night, they were holding that knife. And that same knife was used to stab that same masked attacker we found here. So maybe this masked person got stabbed because... When they attacked, I was in a, I was in a kind of trance. Maybe I reacted by grabbing the knife. Maybe then I... I... And if this really is Kyoko... It would mean that Kyoko is the one that attacked me. Why the mask? I just don't know. I don't remember anything clearly from last night. No. No, it can't be. There's no way. Knife at the crime scene has been added to the truth world section handle. These look like fragments of something. They're all burnt, so I can't really be sure, but... I feel like I've seen something like it before. But where? Wait, was it there? I'll have to double check that later. Fragments near the dead body has been added to the truth world section handle. I check the body more thoroughly, maybe then I'll find out for sure if it's Kyoko or not. Huh? There's something weird about the body's fingernails. Oh, these are fake nails. They're really long. They seem like they'd get in the way of normal activity. Fake nails has been added to the truth section of the handle. There's also something on the back of her right hand. This is a tattoo? It got burned, so I can't make out the whole thing, but it looks like it's a picture of a dog or something. I've never seen anything like it before. Tattoo on the right hand has been added. The white jacket the victim was wearing got totally burnt up. There's only one little piece left. Upper half of the body got set on fire in the explosion, so it's totally blackened. Also, the top half of the body is wet. We found the blackened, guys! We did it! They're right there! They're laying in front of us! That's because it got set on fire, and I threw water on it. Since I only threw water on the part that was on fire, the top half, the bottom half is still dry. In other words, there's nothing strange about the top hat being top half being wet. Oh my god, I wish I could read. There isn't, right? Exploded body analysis has been ad has been added to the truth bullet section in your handbook. I think I think not. All 
right, let's talk to Hero. It's 11 o'clock right now. Okay, and? Oh, well, I was just thinking about when we first found the body. When the, when the body was found, huh? I should look back at what I did this morning to help me remember when that was. It would have been around 10, right? Uh, or, no, it would have been around 9. Uh, Monokuma's announcement woke me up at 7 o'clock as usual, and I headed for the dining hall for the sun. Once I got there, I met up with Kina. That was around 7.30. Then I headed to the gym, where everyone else was waiting. Next, Toko went to get the pickaxe, and that's when we, she found the body. What time was it then? It was like 9 on the dot. Hmm. Now then, Toko, what time is it? Well, when we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock, so it's probably 9 on the dot now. That's right, it had to have been right around 9 o'clock, you know? Ah, now that you mention it, I think you're right. Hmm. So, I think we can say for sure the body was found at 9 a.m. Okay, my job's done. Job's done. That's a pretty small job. When the body was found, it's been added to the truth world section of hand. Hmm. Good timing, Makoto. I wanted to talk to you. Okay. Hmm. Just, nope. Just turns around and walks away. <laughs> what did you want to talk about? So, in other words... I'd like to hear your alibi. Alibi? In other words... Correct. I'd love to hear where you were after nighttime began last night. Um, well, I was sick, so I was asleep all night. But why are you asking about that now? And what's nighttime got to do with it? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? This murder took place after nighttime. How can you know that for sure? Hmm. Because just after nighttime began, I came to the garden. I was going around looking for everyone so I could tell them about Monokuma. Hiro's been spending most of his time in the garden the last few days, so I figured he'd be here. And I can confirm that when I arrived last night, there was no body here. In other words... The mur- so, the murder could only have taken place at some point during night after I left the garden. However, Toko, Hiro, and Hina and I were in the gym together the entire night last night. What? Hm. Once I found Hiro in the garden, we immediately went to Toko and Hina's rooms to get them. At that point, we all went to the gym and began dismantling Monokuma. As a precaution, we made sure not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. In other words, all four of us have airtight alibis. The only ones who don't have alibis are me and Kyoko. That's right. And if the victim really is Kyoko... And I'm the only one without an alibi. Hmm. Also, when we went to go get Hina and Toko, we stopped by your room as well. What? But you never came to the door. So where precisely were you? I'm telling the truth. I was in my room, but I was dead asleep. I had a fever, so... <laughs> That's hardly an alibi. I know. <laughs> So what now? You seem to be at quite the disadvantage here. I'm the only one without an alibi. That's really bad, isn't it? Biakia's account has been added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. Yes! Listen, Makoto. You remember how the body looked? You know, before it blew up? Um, I remember right. It was wearing some kind of mask and a big white coat. Also, there was a knife sticking out of the stomach, and the area around it was stained with blood. Apparently the wound had stopped bleeding, but the blood on the body was still wet. 
Yaki said not to touch it to avoid getting all bloody. But for how much blood there was on the body, I didn't see any on the ground around it. Okay. Wow, thanks. That was a big help. Now that you explained it, I totally remember how it looked. Well, having to talk about it like that helped me remember it a lot better, too. So, thank you, too. Body before the explosion. Damn, got it. I think I've checked everything I need to in this area. I'm not done yet. There are other areas I need to check. Specifically, the fragment I found before. There's somewhere I need to go in order to confirm my suspicions. And I still need to find out more about Kyoko. Is that corpse really Kyoko? If that's true... Then I killed her. Was that also Kyoko who attacked me last night? If I can find out more about her, maybe I can answer that question. Kyoko was never the kind of person to talk about herself all that much. Maybe if I can get into her room, I'll be able to find out more. The key to her room is with Yaki. It's all clear now. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further suspicious activity. What? Limit my options. Just give up. Give me the key to your room. I don't have a choice. I have to see if you let me borrow her room key. Hey, um, Biakia? <laughs> if you do come up with an alibi, I'd be happy to hear it later, at the class trial. Oh, no, it's not about that. You have the key to Kyoko's room, right? I was hoping I could borrow it. I'm afraid I can't take that risk. You're the prime suspect, after all. What? Of course, if I were to go with you, that would be a different story. Then, will you go with me? Hm. Sorry. I have my own agenda to take care of. Find me again later and we'll see. Goodbye. Depending on my mood, I may go with you. Or, I may not. Come back later, huh? Okay then, in the meantime, I should look around somewhere else. Maybe I should check out that one area. I should probably just fast travel there, it's gonna be a lot quicker. Monokuma's laying dismantled on the floor, but I figured it wouldn't be here. You know? I just found something. What is it? It's... Huh? It's what? Huh. A bomb. There's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. What? A bomb? And that bomb went missing. There's no doubt about that. The fragments I found in the garden. Fragments through the bo body of the body. Okay, I found everything else I can think of. All that's left now is... Kyoko's room. You should head back to the garden and ask Yaku. Yaku, come on, let's go. You think you can go soon, Yaku? Let's go. You wanted to check out Kyoko's room, right? Very well, let's go. Ah, wait for me. Yaki walked off without a second glance, and I hurried after him on the way to the games. Running through the hallway! Hey, Yaki. Hm. Well then, here we go. Yaki took the key and slid it into the keyhole, and then, click. And it's open. Looks like it. Thanks.
So, this is Kyoko's room. Why is that so huge? There's something on the table. It's a woodblock decoration. What? What's that? What purpose does it serve? I think it's probably a key. My phone's ringing in my house. I don't know if you can hear that I'm recording or not. I don't think it's important for me. I'm not going to bother to move, but yeah. I think it's probably a key. The lockers at those really traditional public bathhouses use them for the lockers. I wouldn't know. I've never gone to a public bathhouse. That doesn't really surprise me. It's hard to picture Byakuya doing something like that. It's certainly possible. But, if it is a key... I think I might know what it unlocks. Really? What? Hmm. Unless I'm mistaken. I'm pretty sure I saw something in the dojo that this might go to. Dojo? Yeah, the locker's in there. That's all that we need from Dojo. But I guess it's kind of forces to look at everything else. Here's her bed. I don't see anything interesting here. At least, not as far as the case is concerned. Sniff. All right, uh, joke. Bathroom. Here's the bathroom. She might have certain articles hanging out to dry. I'd better not look inside. Hey, I think it would be wise to look around a bit more. All right, we'll talk to the Yakuza. What? You wanted to come here, right? So, what is it you're looking for? Nothing in particular, I just thought we might find some kind of clue here. A clue that might help us understand Kyoko. Come on! You can't be serious. That's why you made me take my time out of my search to come here. Sorry. Regardless, if you plan on poking around at random, you're doomed no matter how much time you take. Surely you have something more concrete, something to give us some sort of direction here more concrete. That's it! I'm, I'm gonna take some concrete mix and pour it over myself, and then I can't be executed because I'll already be dead! What? Yeah, I know, it's not very logical at all. Oh, I know. Earlier, Kyoko gave me something. Huh? What's this? It's true. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. I'm sure I have it here somewhere. Found it! Hmm. What's in the envelope? Kyoko gave it to me. She said if something ever happened, I should open it. Hmm. Well, something certainly has happened, so open it. Okay. I opened the envelope and looked inside. It was her phone number. And I was like, why would you give me your phone number when you're dead? What use is this to me now? <laughs> inside was a single piece of paper. Under the sheets? What? That's all that was in there. Yeah, it looks like it. Under the sheets, what could it be? But could something be hidden under the bed sheets? Part of me didn't expect to find anything, but as I lifted up the sheets... What's this? I found a crumpled up piece of paper. Class 78 Student Registry? Rukuro Ikisaba? I see. It appears to be Mukuro Ikisaba's profile. Yeah, looks like it. That's probably the other thing Kyoko stole when she snuck into the headmaster's room along with the people. God, you're so annoying! Fine, I'll tell you. It was a key and... Burp, that's it! This must be the blank that Monokuma was talking about. Kyoko said a, a death without meaning was unappealing. 
and this is what she left behind. I don't have time for your sentimental indulgences. Hurry up and finish your search. Okay. I made an effort to pull myself together, then looked down at the profile sheet. Name, Mukuro Ikasaba. Sex, female. The ultimate soldier. Although small for her age, she was a military specialist trained in every weapon type imaginable. She showed an interest in the military from childhood and soon found herself completely absorbed in it. In elementary school, she won a survival game tournament and began writing for military magazines. Just before entering middle school, while she and her family were on vacation in Europe, she disappeared. The story of a young Japanese girl being kidnapped quickly took over Japanese media outlets. An, inter an intense international investigation turned up no information, and she was never found. However, she re reappeared in Japanese three years later, so I guess she was found, alone and completely unannounced. She revealed that she had joined a mercenary group known as Fenrir for those three years. She insisted that she ha hadn't been kidnapped, that she'd received battle training of her own volition. However, she never revealed why she decided to return home when she did. Yukuro's profile has been added to the Truth Bolt section of your handbook. The ultimate soldier. A mercenary group? This doesn't feel real. The world I grew up in, it's like a completely different dimension. It's like one's non-fiction and the other is sci-fi. There's no way to even compare the two. That's how different it is. That was how I saw things as just an ordinary person, but then... I see. I never imagined I would hear the name Fenrir in a place like this. Huh? Do you recognize it? Naturally. The Fenrir Mercenary Corps is a collection of praise... Ooh, I can't read. Of battle-crazed warmongers. But they do have their uses, and they always get their job done. That's worth remembering. This is all part of a world totally removed from the one I live in. Hmm. I have to say, I'm intrigued. Every rumor I've heard says that Fenrir has already... Found it! Whoa! I feel like our hero is becoming a bit player and a bit... Player is becoming our hero! Ah, it's you. What have I got in your pretty little... What have you got in your pretty little hand there? Uh-oh, you found her profile! So what if we did? Don't freak out on me. I'm not gonna hold it against you or anything. And in case you're wondering, I don't hold it against Kyoko either, even though she stole it and hid it. Although there's no rule against stealing, is there? But who I can't forgive is Miss Ogami, who broke the rules and busted into the headmaster's room. Maybe I'll drag her corpse out here and slice it up and devour it. There's our omnivorous, you know. What? Are rule violations really so unforgivable? You're quite adamant about those regulations of yours. Hmm. Of course I am! A proper school life is built on the dedication to organization and order! Which is why even I, as the school headmaster, have to follow the regulations myself! Oh, so you're saying you have to follow your own rules as well? Absolutely! I can't have you complaining about how unfair it all is now, can I? Hmm. In fact, on the subject of fairness, would you like to know something interesting? Interesting? <laughs> it's about the one writing all the rules. They're actually one of the participants in this killing game! I don't think I ever actually told you how many participants there actually were, did I? Hmm. I was thinking I should probably clarify that. Hey, um... When you all first got together in the main hallway back when, 
way back when, there were 15 people there, right? I think the fr that first meeting may have led you to a little misunderstanding among you all. A uh, misunderstanding? Are you saying... In other words... That's right! There weren't actually 15 of you! Yes, indeed! The total number of students taking part in this killing game was actually 16! 16? Then... Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. The 16th student, Mukuro Ikusaba. She's part of this school life? So the one making all the regulations is... Why? Why? Huh? Hmm? Did you say something? <laughs> Why are you telling us this? Hmm. Oh, well, because... <laughs> like I told you, this killing game is desperately popular. You wouldn't believe the ratings. And since we've got so many viewers now, I wanted to make sure everyone was on the same page. I don't want to wake up to a hurricane of complaints and hate mail, you know? Yes, indeed. Makes sense. Well, now. Okay, that's all you get for now. Oh, actually, I do have some revenge to get, so I have an extra bonus for you. Revenge? Yeah. I want to get back at that sneaky Miss Kirigiri, so I'm going to share a little secret with you. Seriously? Hey, um... You know how she wears those stupid gloves day in, day out, all the time? Well, don't tell anyone I told you, but <laughs> she wears them to cover a bunch of hideous scars that she doesn't want anyone to see. What? <laughs> okay, now that's all you get. <laughs> Monokuma's account has been added to the truth build section of your handbook. Kyoko wears those gloves to cover up a bunch of scars? Wait, so on the back of her hand... The tattoo. Wait, but no. Monokuma specifically said they were scars, right? And that's why Kyoko wears those gloves, to hide the scars. Which means... Those fake nails on the corpse. Hm. Are you thinking about Kyoko again? Huh? What? Forget about her. What matters right now is uncovering Monokuma's trap. His trap? Such ignorance. God must have really hated you to make you so dull. Hm. Don't you remember what Monokuma just told us? He said they were there were 16 students, right? Which means Mukuro was a student here. That's right. Oh wait, no, that was Makoto saying that. Um. Yeah, that was that was Makoto. Uh, he said there were 16 students, right? Which means Mukuro was a student here. Obviously, Monokuma was trying to tell us that Mukuro is the one creating the rules to the game. But why would he tell us that, and why now? Oh wait, no, that's Mukuro. Oh, that's fucking Byakuya. Wow. But why would he tell us that? And why now? He said he wanted to make things clear so there wouldn't be any complaints later. But the mere fact that he said that proves that Mukuro is connected to this case. That's why Monokuma revealed the existence of a 16th student. He needs to make our investigation fair. Mukuro is related to the case? It's certainly Perhaps possible. she's the one who killed Kyoko. What? Hmm. That would explain why we would have to have a class trial, wouldn't it? If she's a student and she killed someone, that would make her part of the school killing game. Mukuro is the killer? She killed Kyoko? Hm. Anyone should be able to come to that conclusion, don't you think? In fact, 
That's exactly what I thought when the investigation first began. What? But, based on what Monokuma just told us, I've changed my mind. It's all clear now. Mukuro Ikasaba isn't the culprit. Huh? What makes you say that? Hmm. We thought Mukuro, the ultimate despair, was the mastermind's true identity. But if that's true, Monokuma's behavior makes no sense. Why would the mastermind go out of their way to reveal themselves to us? That's a good point. So in other words, Mukuro giving us information that would raise questions about her would be bold, to say the least. It makes more sense, then, to assume that Mukuro isn't the culprit. So that's the trap. They want us to suspect Mukuro and come to the wrong conclusion. Hm. That's what makes sense to me. The way you say it, it definitely does seem possible, but if that's really true, if Mukuro isn't the killer, then who is? Hm. Well then, I believe our work here is finished. Let's move on. I'm sure there are other places in need of investigation. I should find out if that key and the dojo are really are connected. Let's go. Well, are you coming? It's the lockers, it's locker number six, it's the lockers. There are wooden lockers here. They use woodblock keys just like at those super traditional public bathhouses. It looks like the key we found in Kyoko's room really does go to one of these lockers. That ginormous key. Mikado, do you see the locker farthest to the right? Very Six on it, there's no key. That's the only one that doesn't have a key in it at the moment. You understand what that means, right? I should probably use the key we found on that locker, right? That's right. Well, just try it. Okay. I took out the woodblock key and inserted it into the locker's metal lock and... Click! Locker eagerly accepted the key and it opened. There are arrows in here. Looks like... Uh, ten arrows in total. They look like they're made of titanium, which means they're quite strong despite how thin they are. Of course, without a bow, they're nothing but strong little sticks. Strong sticks. Titanium arrows have been added. Oh, there's something else inside the locker. It's a wadded up ball of duct tape. I wonder what this was used for. Is that a blood stain? I see. If it is, that sure that must mean. Whew! If it is, that means it must surely be related to the case. This duct tape is related to the case somehow? But how could it possibly be involved? Bloody duct tape has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. I think that's all the locker has to offer for now. Is something wrong? Very strange. It's very odd, don't you think? The locker was hiding items that were clearly related to the case. How did the key to the locker wind up in the victim's room? Why? Or perhaps... Yakia? Hmm. Forget it. Come on, we need to continue to the next location. Huh? What next location? What? There's still something we need to look into. We need to do more research on Fenrir. Fenrir? You mean the mercenary group that Mukuro was a part of? But how are we supposed to find out about that? The library archives? Isn't it obvious? Where in the school would you go to re do research on something? The library. Research? Are you talking about the archive? That's right. The archive has all kinds of info that the general public doesn't have access to. Let's go. We only have so much time before the trial begins. Let's hurry. I believe there was a fire related to Fenrir somewhere over here. Yakia seemed to know the archive like the back of his hand and went straight to a shelf in the back. Hmm. Ah, here we go. He quickly returned with a file in hand. I see. Take a look at this. 
Um, I have no idea what it says. What language is this? Hm. How did you make it all the way to high school without learning a single word of French? Uh, I'm pretty sure most high schoolers can't speak French. Okay. Well, whatever. I'll read it for you. But I expect you to repay your debt a hundred times over. A hundred times? Isn't that kind of extreme? <laughs> Fenrir is an elite fighting unit based out of the Middle East. Unlike military contractors, they are a fierce group of soldiers who engage in direct combat. They claim that a single member is equivalent to an entire company of regular soldiers. Just like Fenrir, the, the wolf of Ragnarok, their mere presence is enough to strike fear into any enemy. They have been involved in countless military battles and operations, most of which are highly classified. However, some time ago, they ceased all- they completely ceased all activity. At present, their continued existence cannot be confirmed. There are unconfirmed reports that key members of the group were all neutralized. Rumors indicate they were killed to keep them from revealing the many state secrets they'd acquired. Some, however, believe there was, a there was mounting internal tension within the group, and they simply imploded. What? What is it? This all just sounds like some kind of alternate reality. Like, al almost like a, like a Metal Gear game. Makoto, are, are you really comparing real life to a Metal Gear game? Yes? Hm. Well, this isn't a Metal Gear game. This is our reality. The only reality. These people are part of our world. Their battlefields aren't much different from our lives here. An unpredictable, unimaginable world. But, like, if it's like Metal Gear, that's not so unimaginable. It's not Metal Gear Makoto. <laughs> that's what makes it all so exciting. Exciting definitely isn't the word I would use. I would use the words similar to Metal Gear. So, did anything jump out at you? This may be your last opportunity to learn about Fenrir. Now that you mention it, the report said something about where the name Fenrir comes from, right? The Wolf of Ragnarok. <laughs> That's right. It said Fenrir is the Wolf of Ragnarok. Speaking of which, would you like to know something interesting related to that? To show that they're a member of the team, each soldier that joins the squad would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. What? They got a tattoo of Fenrir? Could that mean... Mikuro Ikasaba's profile has been updated. Bing dong, bing bong. Last trial time, let's go! Time is utterly silent, and yet it constantly assaults us. Organisms, the Earth, natural phenomena. It damages us little by little until the end. You should really think about that. Cool, thanks, Monokuma. Anyway, it's <clears> time <throat> to begin the class trial! Fun. So, please meet up in the usual spot. <laughs> See you later! Then the time has come. All we can do now is try to uncover the truth during the class trial. That's right. It would seem that way. Let's go. I'm gonna save here, guys. We'll pick up from here next time. All right.
If you like the video, consider leaving a like, consider subscribing, clicking that bell icon. Um, for now, uh, I'm gonna go, so bye for now. Peace out. See you next time, guys.